What's up, guys? Hey, I just wanted to start this off by saying thank you, a massive, massive thank you to Fueled by Ramen for getting us tickets to this concert. I felt like there was no shot of me getting this, but as soon as they said, you've got a ticket waiting for you, I said, bet, and we freaking made it happen, man. Together with our Patreon, you guys sent me to freaking Tokyo and legitimately made a life dream of mine come true so thank you to our patreon i'll be at the end of this video putting all the patreon members that helped us get over there i'll be putting you guys all on this video and i just wanted to say thank you to fuel by ramen and thank you very much to our patreon you guys are seriously amazing and if you'll take anything away from this video at all anybody that's watching this just know if you guys have a dream or goal in mind freaking do not stop until you can make that happen and if you have any questions at all about how i made this possible please feel free to comment please feel free to message me any of my socials all of them are at john reeves live message me anywhere and i will message you guys back and again thank y'all very much i hope y'all enjoy my travel vlog let's get into that right now freaking swipe it okay so we are officially booking our flights to tokyo right now i'm really freaking stoked there's something i never really thought that i was gonna be able to do in my life but we're doing it and i am very excited about it we're going from nashville to dallas fort worth then dallas fort worth to tokyo we're picking our seats right now i'm so freaking stoked <laughs> Their customs got our bags, got everything, and we're good. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah, definitely following us too now. <clears throat> Jody and her excellent navigation skills getting us here. No Google Maps. No Google Maps. She said, we're not even need them. So, we're good. Kind of. Okay, this is sure where we're actually at. Oh, you are here. So you need to get to 22. I think that's where the thing is. Also, there's a ton of restaurants here. Oh, so it's like right in here? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, this is a little city thing. The Tokyo Dome Hotel's right there. Whoop. And then whoop, 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 whoop. But there's a lot of food places here. Dude, you know what else there is here? Turns out finding Will Call is a huge challenge in itself. So fingers crossed we actually find Will Call and uh, figure out where the heck we're going because we're not really 100% sure yet. But we have two tickets for John Reeves at Will Call. Hopefully. This place is huge. There's so much stuff around here. I kind of want to do this just because you go through a building that is freaking wild. Listen, don't be mad at us, but we found a Taco Bell and we're about to go Taco Bell it up. I wonder what's different about Japanese Taco Bell. That's something you never hear talk about. You never hear that talk about. Everybody's always like McDonald's, McDonald's, Taco freaking Bell. We're going to do this. Okay, the difference of a Taco Bell in Japan is this. Like, if you know, you know. That's the difference. That's the difference of Japanese Taco Bells. Is that. Okay, so we just met up with Andy, and he helped us figure out that uh, I was asking the wrong people where the tickets were. So, we're going to wait around for an hour, and hopefully at the front gate we're going to get a ticket. I still don't know where we're going to be sitting at. I have no idea. I'm kind of nervous about that. I think it's gonna be cool, so fingers crossed. Right now we're gonna go look for a Starbucks.
We still have not found where we're supposed to get our media pass, but this kind of gentlewoman came up, started speaking English and translated for us. And I think we know where we're going now. She said around the corner, there's a little window for a media pass. Fingers crossed, homies. This has not been easy. We're gonna get there. I believe in us. Okay, officially, I think we just found it. Will call is at gate 21. And I just have to go out there and say John Reeves. Fingers crossed, this actually works. We've been all over the Tokyo Dome City. Who knows? Let's go meet some people. Okay, so here we met up with Green and she got us officially in the right place. Okay, so we're like in a way too official looking place and I have no idea if we're in the right place. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we're at the right area. Dude, if this is right though, this is freaking awesome. This is way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> just kind of been waiting here. I have honestly no idea what's going on yet, but hopefully we find out soon. I'm not really sure. I think still, like this looks like it's some backstage stuff. We don't, I think, really have backstage passes. I think we more or less have a uh, general maybe. I'm not really sure. I have no idea. We got no information. I just know I've been approved. I've been approved for the show and that's all the info we've got. So, fingers crossed. Maybe we're gonna give meet the band, you know? I think it's gonna be really cool, really exciting. We just don't even know it yet. Fingers crossed. And finally, I guess we're in. That was complete debacle, okay? That was some wild stuff, but I feel like they gave us tickets that maybe we weren't supposed to have. I don't really know. Either way, but got two tickets and they freaking hooked us up. But I can't film while I'm in there. There's a little sign that says you can't film, so I'm not able to actually film. But, dude, these are like freaking right on it. We are literally one of one on these freaking tickets. What is happening? <laughs> Either way, that took like literally an hour of us at this place trying to get in. And then I think she just gave us tickets. She was like, you know what? I feel bad for you guys. Here's some tickets. Oh. I may do this really quick. Just gonna look in here for two whole seconds. Like, boom. There it is, dude. Oh. We're literally dead center of this. What's your thoughts on the seats? I honestly, did you think we were even gonna get in? There was like 30 minutes there where I was like, we're not getting in. They're not gonna let us in this ticket at this concert at all. I was kind of nervous. <laughs> but uh... Well, it's in the basement for like yeah. a really long time. We were literally, yeah, sitting in the basement, but we did see Tomoya's uh, kids walk in and his wife, and that was really cute. They are very cute. They are so tiny. But either way, I am stoked. These are beautiful seats. Thank you, Phil by Ramen, very much. We flew all the way across the world for this. Seriously. Yes. When a K Rock just played, they freaking crushed. Now we're, I don't know what's about to happen. I have no idea what's next, but I think my first story plays next, maybe. And then, I don't know. I don't know if one of K Rock's gonna come back out or not. Okay, so I can't put the video up, but look how beautiful this picture is. This is an amazing moment. There's a thing with the Tokyo Dome, there's like a lot of wind whenever you leave this place. Your hair, hold it on. <laughs> That was so windy, that was awesome. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, right by the great old Taco Bell, by the way. That was wild. That was so much windier than I thought. Did it blow your hair off? Yeah. I think that's amazing. I couldn't breathe. That concert was wild. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a concert like that before. The crowd was freaking awesome. And uh, it was really, really, really cool to see them. Like. Taka and his brother singing a song together at the end it was freaking awesome. I did not expect that part either. It was a very cool concert. And now I'm gonna be meeting up with some people, grabbing some food possibly, some drinks. And uh, yeah, I don't know, honestly, 
gonna have to gather my thoughts before I really talk a whole lot more about the concert. The Tokyo Dome was wild. I've never seen a concert like that before in my life. Like the whole crowd moved together. Freaking beautiful. <sighs> it was awesome. I'm very, very blessed to have been able to see that show. So seriously, thank you to everybody that has helped get me out here. We're in Tokyo still. And it still hasn't stopped being freaking wild that I'm in Tokyo at the moment. But uh, yeah, so either way, we will, uh, I'm gonna be grabbing some food and drinks with some homies. So let's do this. So we have a ton of food here, <laughs> and what happened? We don't know. We don't know. It's just <laughs> yes, it is delicious looking. Oh, it's healthy. So yeah, yeah. There you go. It's a lot. It's a lot of healthy. Okay, what is this place called? It's Juan. Okay, so we have officially missed the train back because we've met some amazing, awesome people. One of Yes, amazing awesome people over here. And then you guys know these guys, amazing awesome people over here. But uh, we were enjoying food and conversation for too long and we missed all the train ride. So now we're just gonna, I don't know, wait around, wait around, drink maybe, and find out what time this place closes. I don't know. Jake seems to think that it's gonna it close. It will never him. close. It's yeah. Japan. Places don't close. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't. Unless you're the we can all station. take a nap and wake up and be totally fine. <laughs> we pressed oh. your clothes. Don't ask us how. Don't ask us how. We press your clothes, charge your phone, and we you saw you were a little short of cash, so we went to the ATM. <laughs> yeah. and yeah. Slipped in an extra 5000 So I don't know. Hopefully we find out like when they close, if they close. And if they don't close, I guess we're chilling here. Yeah. So just chilling here. Yeah, so we'll go to karaoke. I like it. So we made our way to a karaoke bar and then check this out. They also have costumes. So, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's only two drinks. Master freaking Yoshi. There's a Master Roshi costume here. Pretty awesome. So again, I'd just like to say that it was seriously the best concert I have ever been to in my life. Taka's voice sounded amazing, Hero sounded amazing, both bands sounded great. There was so much difference between a concert in America and a concert in Japan. The crowd is night and day difference. I always thought that they were quiet and all this, but no, like every single moment that there was a possibility for them to do like a fan chant, everybody in the crowd was singing, head banging, hand motions. It was like, it was such a cool experience and it was something I've never been in, in my entire life before. It was so loud in that concert. I I think it was a really cool thing that 1OK Rock opened for my first story and they kind of like passed it off. That entire experience was amazing. There was a couple of times there where like I just got tears in my eyes. I could, I got overwhelmed by the situation. Like being in Japan, being in Tokyo, I, I, the first reaction I ever did to 1OK Rock was actually in the Tokyo Dome. Them playing Take What You Want in the Tokyo Dome in Ambitions 2018, I believe. Seeing that for my first reaction and then for my first concert of seeing them live was in the Tokyo Dome there were so many times during this trip where I was just like awestruck by the situation and please don't think that this is something that I just take lightly I understand how grandiose this whole thing was 
it's wild but i just want you to know whoever's watching this right now i am just a normal dude as well i don't have any extra connections that anyone else wouldn't have and if you ever want to try to pursue something like this please message me i will 100 percent give you any information i can i want to help anybody else for me this all started from a dm that i got on our patreon they said man you do reactions why don't you ask and see if you can't get a ticket i applied for the lotteries i got denied for all of the lotteries as well too and finally after like hours and hours and days and days of calling and making a lot of cold calls to a lot of different people at record labels and management we finally got in touch with some people and they gave me a media pass so it's not something that was just given to me we really had to go after this and i owe that to a lot of people and speaking of which our patreon you guys are freaking amazing y'all seriously sent me to tokyo so thank you Thank you so freaking much. We're going to have a list right over here of all of our freaking Patreons and freaking sent us to Tokyo like it's a combined effort. I honestly can't get over the fact that we just went there and it doesn't even feel real, man. It feels like a dream. But again, I just want to say best concert I've ever been into in my life. Anywhere 1OK Rock plays next that's closest to me, I will freaking be there. If you guys live anywhere close to Nashville and y'all go to a 1OK Rock concert, expect to find me there. Thank you guys so much. One last shout out to fuel by ramen for the tickets that was insane and again our patreon i cannot thank y'all enough this was such an experience we're gonna actually be posting all of the travel vlogs that we did i shot 10 travel vlogs we went to another concert while we were in japan so i've also got that as well too and then every day that we were in japan we went to a different prefixture in tokyo so we've got travel vlogs for all those as well. If y'all would like to check those out, they're going to be on here. And again, thank y'all so very much. From the bottom of my heart, this meant the world to me. I honestly can't overstate that. Such a dream come true. So thank you guys. I hope y'all are having a blessed day or night, whatever time it is you're watching this. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to each other. And if y'all need anything at all, I'm serious. Message me. All of my socials are at John Reeves Live. And I'll catch y'all next time. Freaking toodles!